So in this video, I am going to be installing Arch Linux in a desktop computer. So this is the current release. Now, I already downloaded the ISO file and I created a bootable USB drive. So I booted from the USB drive. I'm going to select the first option. So I'm going to type Arch install. I'll hit enter. So this is the installation menu. So the first option, you have to select your language. I'm going to leave it as English. This is mirrors. I'll hit enter. Hit enter again to choose mirror region. And there are a whole lot of choices. So I'm going to select the United States. So I'll select the United States. I'll press the space bar to select. Hit enter. This is a keyboard layout. I'm going to leave it as default. This is the disk configuration. So here you have to select a partitioning option. I'll select the first option, use the best effort default partition layout. So I have one hard drive in a computer and the size of the hard drive is one terabyte. I'll hit enter. So here you have to select your file system for your main partitioning. So I'm going to select extended for. So here it says, would you like to create a separate partition for home? I'm going to select no. So this is disk encryption. If you want to enter a password, you can do that. Just hit enter and you can type in a password. I'm going to leave it blank. So this is the bootloader. I'm going to leave it as system boot. This is the unified kernel. I'll hit enter. I'm going to leave it as no. So this is swap. I'm going to leave it as the default. Yes. Host name is Arch Linux and this can be changed. I'm going to type Arch Desktop. Hit enter. So this is the root password. I'm going to type a root password. I'm going to retype the password. So this is user account. I have to create a user account. I'm going to add a user. I'll type John as the user. I'll type a password and retype the password. And it says, yes, should John be a super user? I'm going to select yes, enter. And I'm going to confirm and exit. So this is profile. I'll hit enter on the keyboard, hit enter again. Hit enter on desktop and here you can choose your desktop environment. I'm going to select KDE. Hit enter. Select back. This is audio. I'm going to select pipe wire. So this is kernels and you have all these options. I'm going to leave it as Linux, but you can choose more than one kernel here. This is additional packages. And here you can type in additional packages you would like to install. For example, I'm going to type Vim space Firefox. I'll hit enter. So this is network configuration. I'll hit enter and I'm going to choose use network manager. So this is the time zone. So I'm in Eastern standard time. And this is optional repositories. I'm going to select multi-lib. So now I'm going to select install. I'll hit enter to continue. Okay, so it says here, would you like to root into the newly created installation and perform post installation configuration? I'm going to leave it as yes, which is default. So here you can install additional applications. For example, VLC media player. I just have to type sudo. Batman. Hyphen. 
uppercase S and VLC. Hit enter. And it says proceed with installation. I'm going to type Y for yes. So I'm going to reboot the computer and I'm going to remove the USB drive and it should boot up in Arch Linux with KDE Plasma 6. So I'm going to log in. So this is the welcome page. I'll click next, next. And this gives you a short tour of some of the features. So this is the application launcher. And this can be adjusted. So there's favorites, there's all applications. These are a list of all the applications. This is VLC media that was installed. This is Vim. This is Firefox. So this is the settings app. This is mouse and touchpad. This is keyboard settings. This is the touch screen settings. This is sound and you can adjust the sound settings here. This is display and monitor and you can change the resolution here. This is accessibility. There's also a screen reader. You can configure a Bluetooth device here. This is disk cam cameras. This is Thunderbolt, this is printers, and you can add printers. So this is the Wi-Fi and networking. So this computer is connected to the internet by Ethernet cable. There's firewall configuration here, proxy. These are connection preferences. This is online accounts and you can add new accounts here. This is colors and teams. So these are the different teams, Breeze, Breeze Dark, I'll choose Breeze Dark. This is colors. And you can choose any one of these colors. There's also custom colors. Mm. So this is application style. This is plasma style. It changes the dark color. This is window decorations. This is icons. This is the cursors. And there's a lot of choices here. This is system sounds. So this is splash screen. So this is a login screen and the default is SDDM. You can change it to any one of these. This is text and fonts. So these are the different type of wallpaper you can choose. This is default applications. You can configure default applications for internet, multimedia, documents and utilities. This is file associations. Here you can configure notifications. This is do not disturb, settings, visibility conditions, pop-ups, additional feedback and application specific settings. So this is Windows management. So I'm gonna click on virtual desktops. So right now there's only one virtual desktop here. I'm going to add four more. I'll just click on the add button. I'll click apply. So it shows here on the panel. There are five virtual desktops. So I'm going to enable the cube feature. Under Windows Management, I'll click on Desktop Effects. And I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see Windows Management. And this is Windows Management and this is Cube. So right now the cube feature is disabled. 
So I'm going to check the box, click apply. Now I have a Windows keyboard, so to show the demonstration of the cube feature, so I just have to press the Windows key and the C key on the keyboard. So this is how it shows. These are the five virtual desktops. Now on each virtual desktop, you can open different pages. And to get out of this screen, you just have to hit the escape key on the keyboard. You can also change the rows here. So right now it's just one row. So I can make that three rows, click apply. And this is how it looks. I'm going to leave it as one row. This is users and you can add more users here. I'm going to click about this system. So this is the KDE Plasma version 6.0.3. This is the kernel version, graphics platform. So under workspace, this is general behavior. This is the search settings. So this is a system software app. This is file manager. So you can also right click the panel and you can configure icons on the taskbar. You can also add widgets. And if you need to add a widget, you just have to drag it to the desktop. A panel also shows up here. So I'll right click the panel click on enter edit mode and I can configure the panel settings here. I can adjust the size of the panel here. Also I can configure the position of the panel. I'll click on position here, set position and you get these arrows. So if I want the panel on the left side, I just have to click on this arrow. If I want the panel on the right side, I just have to click on the arrow on the right side here. So I can also right click the desktop and I can configure desktop on wallpaper, configure display settings here. Arrange icons. And also enter edit mode. So in this video, I install Arch Linux with the KDE Plasma 6 desktop environment. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.